I've wanted to explore ever since I was a little kid. And I'm not totally sure where that came from. I've just always been really curious and interested in other places. And so from a pretty young age, I just wanted to be an explorer. And I grew up in Houston, so NASA was right down the road. And we got to come to JSC a lot um, on school field trips. And then also when I was in second grade, we grew some tomato seeds that had flown on space shuttle. So we got to do the tomato seeds in space program. Just that early exposure to NASA, I think, focused me on an astronaut as being one way to be an explorer. And that dream kind of persisted all the way through school and college. So I graduated from undergrad and then worked for a year and a half and then went back to grad school for two years. And I did all of that in aerospace engineering. And my sister was a geologist at Penn State, also in grad school at the time. And her research was in Iceland, studying the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and the fault lines that run through Iceland. And that sounded really fun and kind of like what I had dreamed about in exploration. And so I started looking around for different opportunities and found Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. Um, and that's how I moved into ocean science. Woods Hole does kind of the broad suite of earth and ocean science. They do everything from biology, chemistry, geosciences, and then they also have a pretty big engineering department. And so I joined the engineering department. When I started at Woods Hole, I started on an upgrade to the Alvin submersible. So it's the United States only manned research submersible and the oldest sub in the world that does that kind of work. And at the time we were doing the first of a two-part upgrade to the sub to do a lot of different upgrades, but mainly to increase the operating depth of the sub from 4,500 meters to 6,500 meters. But one of the things I was responsible for was the main vehicle frame, the overall kind of skeleton of Alvin that attaches the personnel sphere, like where the people are. So it was this huge seven foot diameter titanium sphere with all these lugs welded onto it. And the main vehicle frame was also uh, this welded structure. And then these two parts showed up to Woods Hole separately. And one day we had to mate them. And so seeing the sphere come down onto the vehicle frame, and making sure every bolt went through every lug uh, was a pretty great day. This is the kind of work I want to be doing. It's really hands-on. Um, it's working with a lot of different people from around the world, working on science that helps us understand the planet better. And so I started to think that maybe I would stay there for a while. I went all the way through with the Alvin upgrade. And one of the things that I really was hoping to do was to get to dive in Alvin one time and I did get to do that on sea trials. It was neat to see the vehicle you know, in action, and I got to fly it for a little bit, uh, which was really fun. In addition to my work on Alvin, I also did a lot of work with uh, robots. Um, so either remotely operated vehicles uh, that were driven from the ship or autonomous vehicles that you know, had their own brain on board. My work with all of these vehicles were mostly at sea, and we would go out on research cruises that were anywhere from two or three weeks to a month or two. So Jason is the name of the vehicle that I did most of my work with, and it's an ROV, so it's a remotely operated vehicle. And we lower it over the side of the ship, um, and it stays tethered to the ship. So uh, there's a tether that's providing electrical power and communications to the vehicle and then the pilot sits on board in a control room and drives the vehicle from the control room. We have a pilot, we have an engineer and a navigator, and so I would sit engineer and navigator in the control room and then also work as a mechanic on the vehicle and as a data processor. A lot of the work that we did with those vehicles was around hydrothermal vents. And so you would see, they call them black smokers, and so they're kind of like chimneys with black smoke spewing out underwater and just this wealth of animal life that lives around them. And so they were just these really beautiful spots on the seafloor that we got to go visit. Those cruises were sort of like the highlight of my career. And I love the research cruises because I think for the same reason that I really enjoy the work here. And that's just going out on a ship with a relatively small group of people and a pretty focused mission and having to use you know, whatever we have out on the ship to solve problems and fix things when they break. And you just kind of develop a really nice team dynamic out there. And the work is really fun and interesting. 
most of what we were doing was science aimed at understanding the oceans better. And so the overall mission was really great. And similarly at NASA, our mission is to explore, both to inspire people on Earth to develop new technology and to take humans further and further in the solar system. And so uh, working on things like that that have a worldwide impact and that are ultimately for the greater good, I think is really sort of the overarching thing that draws me to exploration. I'm Laurel O'Hara and I'm a NASA astronaut. Subscribe for more space.